Team PTL is ready to roll this summer. The longer days are a great opportunity to stretch your normal road trip, and there are so many places to see just a short drive away. Yeah, there sure are. And one of those places is in Westmoreland County, Fort Ligonier. You've probably heard of it before, but do you know how the historical site is connected to Pittsburgh? Well, Daisy recently took a road trip there to find out. Good morning, everyone. Well, today I'm actually visiting Fort Ligonier. And did some of you know that there is a really cool connection between this place and the origins of the city of Pittsburgh? And to tell us more about it, I'm actually here with the Director of Education, Matt Gall. Good to see you, Matt. Good and thank you. you for having us here. Happy to have you here. Yeah. Thank you for visiting us. Of course. Well, I've been here quite a few mm -hmm. times, and there are so many cool things here at the fort. So tell us about why people come and visit. Yeah, of course. So even right behind us, the beautiful reconstructed fort we have uh, was constructed in 1758 by General John Forbes when he was taking an army of over 6,000 wow. to attack Fort Duquesne which we know as the city of Pittsburgh. Ah. There's your connection yeah. right there uh, and when visitors come in they come here to the fort to visit us especially over the summer months they can do a lot they can yeah. experience our events and also uh, I think we have a few interpreters that might be uh, joining us wow. this summer. Yeah, to really give that impression of what our history is. You know, clothing, um, the, the weapons that yes. they used, what they were experiencing out here. Wow, I love that so much. So I even got my own piece of clothing, but I, like it. I know that you have quite a bit you want to show us inside in the museum as well, right? I do, yeah. Let's go check out the museum. Okay. All right, Matt, well, we have made it into the George Washington Gallery, and there's a lot of unique things in here. There are. So whenever we're in this gallery, we're focusing on, of course, George Washington right. and the fact that he had a huge impact on our history in the sense of the French and Indian War, especially when you look at this painting behind us. Because what this is showing is an incident that actually put Washington's life in the most jeopardy it had ever been before or since. Those are his words, oh, wow. not mine. Okay. That's how we actually know that this incident occurred from a document that Washington actually wrote where he said all of this. And wow. he talked about this friendly fire incident that happened right outside of Fort Ligonier where two groups of Virginians mistook each other mm -hmm. and began to fire upon each other out in the wilderness. Washington either rode or ran down the line knocking up muskets out of the way, yelling for a ceasefire, putting his life in great peril. We do actually have two pistols that were given to Washington by the Marquis de Lafayette. Oh. Revolutionary War yeah. figure, see? So he actually had those then during the Revolution, during his presidency, during the Whiskey Rebellion, another Pittsburgh yep. tie right yeah. there. Um, but Washington just had such a huge impact in our history around here. But not only that, he had an impact on global history. Mm. The French and Indian War was not just local, yeah. it was a global war. So can I show you something else yeah. about that? Let's, Let's go, go over it. Okay, sounds good. All right, Matt, well, we've walked across the hall here to this exhibit, and I love the name World Ablaze, but what exactly does that mean? So in this gallery, we focus on how the French and Indian War was just a small part of a global conflict, a world conflict called the Seven Years' War. So in here, not only do we have artifacts from North America, but we also have artifacts from all over the world. You would literally have to get on a plane and fly somewhere to be able to see some of these things, wow. and here they are in Ligonier. Even right here, this British officer's uniform, we believe believe this is one of three left in the entire world, the only one in North America. Wow, that's so incredible, Matt. I thank you so much for giving us this tour because I feel like I learned so much. So for all of you out there, be sure to plan your trip for Fort Ligonier this summer because there is so much to see and do here. You're going to love it. Daisy, thank Ooh. you. And it's so much history there. Uh, really? Too. Yeah, Fort Ligonier has two fun events coming up in the evening this month. A sunset tour, which includes wine and cheese and a lantern lit walk through the fort at dusk. And then cannons and cocktails featuring 18th century cocktails, live music, and artillery firing in the fort. Yeah, for more information, you can go to PittsburghTodayLive.com.